Hey there guys, so so many things 2000 here. Uh <coughs> you guys probably don't recognize me. I mean don't recognize the channel name, but you probably do recognize this face. Gail Rogers, um I used to use Deborah Parsons channel. Um I'm only eleven years old, the Deborah Parsons channel was my mom's channel. Excuse me. However, I wanted my own channel because I figured nobody was going to go. That would blah, 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 blah. So I said, all right, let me make a new channel. After like three or four attempts, I think it was my fourth attempt that I got uh, my, uh, got, got what I finally wanted. And so, yeah, uh, my screen photo is a kitten and marshmallows. It's very cute. But uh, the reason why it's called So So Many Things 2000 is because it's going to be So So Many Things. Um, so yeah. Uh, it could be one day, it could be how to make a duct tape wallet or purse or whatever wallet. I will do a tutorial on that. How to tell you a know about the next day, I can almost do a tutorial on that. Um, or it could be something biblical another day. So... I mean, uh, it's, it's going to be all over the place. Um, so we'll just see how it goes. Um, I will be checking in on my other channel. Sorry, it's on my time. Uh, I will be checking in on the other channels. Uh, my other channel, um, which is... Um, their first channel, I'm sorry, I couldn't remember. Uh, so, yeah, um... But uh, anyway, today uh, I will be doing something big biblical. Um, it's going to be Proverbs 11. So um, you don't even need a Bible. Take notes. You don't even got to do that. Just listen. I mean, if you want to, grab a Bible, sit down, turn to Proverbs 11. If you don't really feel comfortable with that, it's fine. Just sit down, listen, eat a snack, do stuff. I mean, just sit there and listen. I mean, it's good to listen to. So, um, yeah. So, let's get started here, guys. Um, let me flip over to Proverbs 11. I was going to do Matthew chapter 24, and I changed my mind. So, let's flip over to Proverbs 11. Here we are. Um, I'm probably going to break this into parts, but that will be okay too. So, uh, I've already read this chapter once, so I will read it again. So if you guys have questions and I can't answer them, I will read it again until I can get the answer for you guys. So let's get started. Trickery. Okay. I read that 
twice, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't mean to. Um, wealth isn't worth anything when God judges you. But when he is right, what, I'm sorry guys, I really am. But doing what is right saves you from that. Tongue twisted, sorry. Um, doing what is right saves you from death. Doing what is right saves you from death. When they say that, that means when they. When God comes back for his second coming, because he's already came once, that will be in a whole different video, which was the video that I was showing them the other day, but I decided to do this one. You know, Wealth isn't worth anything when God judges you. Basically what that is saying is, okay, so let's say, alright, alright, it says, wealth isn't worth anything when God judges you. That's true. When God judges you, when he comes back for his second coming, and you're sitting on a cloud with him after the seven years of tribulation, which is a whole other video, but after all that, and he's sitting on a cloud judging you. Wealth is not worth anything. Money is not worth anything. Money means nothing to God. Okay. So, when you're sitting on that cloud with him, he's not going to ask you how many millions you make a year, if you even make millions. He is going to be judging you not asking about money. Wealth does not matter when you are being judged. So don't think money can get you out of everything, because it can't. If there's someone that... If there... There's a very famous verse. I cannot remember what chapter of the Bible it is from. I mean, the book of the Bible or the, or the chapter or the verse. But, I do know what the verse says. Sorry. Um, the verse says, It is easier for a camel. Okay, you know how big a camel is? Really big. Okay? Okay really big and you know it is easy for a camel to go through the eye of a needle you know how small an eye of a needle is the needle okay the needle that you use to like do cross stitch you know how small that eye is the little place where you put the thread in through that's called the eye you know how small that is see how big a camel is it says it is easy for a camel to go into the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get in heaven. It is easier for a camel, a huge camel, to go through the eye, the small teeny eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get in heaven. So let me just say the full verse. It is easier for the camel to go through an eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get in heaven. Now, that being said, you know that wealth means nothing when you are being judged. Wealth means nothing. You can be the most prideful person about their money, okay? You can be the most prideful person with the money issue, I mean with the money, and then It's like a rude awakening when you hear that verse. So, not everybody, not all rich people, some rich people, okay? Some rich people think money can get them out of everything. Some 
rich people think money can get them out of everything. They think that money can, oh, I'll pay you a thousand dollars to make me a bow. No, that's nothing in God's eyes. So, you can be really poor, but God doesn't care. You can be really rich and wealthy, but God doesn't care. He will always love you, no matter what. Okay? That's the only thing you got to focus on. But there are some people, okay, that can be poor, pray, and pray, and pray, and God will help them through it, and they will have money. Okay. It depends on how prideful they get with that money. With that being said, that's a good closing. Um, we did only get through four verses in 11 minutes, but um, I will make a second part, so let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for all the things that you have done for us, Heavenly Father. I thank you for the people that are watching this. I pray for all of their prayer requests and their prayer requests and their needs, Lord, that you will just help them through anything. It says in Psalm 34 that it basically says that you will help you will their Christian people who go through troubles, it's not saying that they won't, but they will, and you will always see us through them. And Lord, I just pray for all their prayer requests. In the name of Jesus, I pray, and for your sake, amen. Well, guys, that's about it for this time. This is so, so many things, 2,000 saying goodnight. Um, I will make another part tonight, but I am saying goodnight on this video. Have a good day. I mean, have a good night. <laughs> good day or night, whenever you're watching this. So, uh... Part 2, coming next. Thanks.